this could be the matchup of the year to this point in six man as the two best teams are going to clash here in Stanford. It's second ranked Centerville and unbeaten number one DGSG. First Centerville drive, Luke Kelly loses the ball and is recovered by DGSG. With the Bearcats looking to take advantage, Ty Smith looks for a man, but it's swiped away by Kale Annis of the Miners. Here's where the scoring really got going. Kelly gets it on a design run. He breaks free with some jukes and has lots of green grass ahead of him before being dragged down just before the end zone. A couple plays later, it's Kelly on a pass to his man, Annis in the end zone, and the Miners take the lead, 8-0. Very shortly after, it's the Bearcats on the move. Here's a pitch to Smith, and he gets some good yardage before being dragged down to the three-yard line. Then to cap off the drive, Smith finds Brody Widgeway for the score. The ensuing kickoff, it gets pitched back to Kelly, and Centerville's big-time playmaker gets in space yet again, and here he goes. It's a house call to make the score 16-6. Another Centerville score later, and the Bearcats are knocking on the door. Smith sends one toward the back of the end zone, and what a grab by Axel Becker, a toe-tap touchdown. Both feet down means that would have counted on Sundays. But the Miners prove their might in this one, as the senior-laden squad just continue to dart their way through the Bearcat defense. Kelly finds Caden Olsen on a seam beater, which set up a wide open Kelly touchdown throw to Carson Darko. And the Miners run away with it, 68-38. Will Charlton, MTN Sports.